Lionar versus Songhai. Lionar versus Songhai. We're going first, and I think I've played against this person before, but uh, let's replace the Iron Cliff and everything else seems fine. And we get our Iron Cliff back. I think there's only two Iron Cliffs in the deck too, so that's kind of annoying. But uh, let's just go forward, replace the Iron Cliff again, and get a Sunforge, which is a lot better. And we can just play a Windblade here, and hopefully it's not a spell, artifact, or even attack. But I mean, we got heals to counteract that, so that should be good. We just need to rush forward and just try and get rid of the artifacts if it is an artifact spell, Songhai. It is an artifact spell, Songhai. Well, that's gonna be annoying to deal with, but that is what it is. So we have to go forward, and uh, let's go over here, go over here. So we have four mana. Let's just do. We can play a Sunforge here, and we have two mana, so we'll just do an Azure Herald here just to get closer to the general. And we'll get more attack, and we'll just end our turn. Next turn, we can just do a Blistering Scorn into uh, Afterglow if we can get the mana spring. So, anyway, the, the key thing for against an Artifact Reva is just to pressure him and try to get as close as you can. It can lead into some shenanigans where the opponent just teleports away, but. You just have to try and get close, and with the heal in our deck, you can just heal up the damage and then uh, close close in at the same time because you, that's what heal in our does. So yeah, we'll see what happens. A crescent spear. Well, he's gonna kill something. So it does have three mana left, I don't know what he's gonna do. Hopefully it's not Celerity, because I don't think that's enough mana to play Celerity. But I could be wrong. I haven't I don't remember the mana cost for the Celerity. Alright, so Sunforce Master has been pinged, and then Ghost Lightning, so a lot of things are hurt. I guess in this situation here, I don't think I need a Circle of Life. So we have 4 mana. I can't, I mean, I can only do remove 2 charges, but let's remove the Circle of Life. I've got a Trinity Oath, which is good. We'll just close in and we'll close in. So we have 4 mana. We'll just do move this forward here. We'll play a Sunforged Lancer behind. Then we can just heal this back up. And we'll just remove a charge, and we'll end our turn. Alright, we got an Exocius, which we can play in about four turns, but kind of don't need to do that, but we'll see. I might replace it because I do have uh, things that I can play more that I prefer over that. But I guess in hindsight, I probably should have played the Sunforge Lancer closer, because uh, if he attacks, then it'll just be in melee range, I think, but. Uh, I don't know. A Phoenix, or you can just do a, yeah, a Phoenix Fire Devil 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 the Sunforge. So two Sunforges are down, and I think I have one more left in the deck, but not in my hand. Twin Strike, so that kills both things. I'm gonna get hit in the face for three. What we're gonna do is go down here, and attack the General for four, get rid of the, the charge, and then we'll just play Blistering Scorn to get rid of a charge, and we'll end our turn. So we got two Silverguard Knights and a Trinity Oath. I think I need to play the Trinity Oath first, just because I need to heal up, but I might replace one of the two Silverguard Knights. Alright, Bangle of Blinding Strike, Celerity. And Chuck, oh, so he's just removing that away. And he's running away. Not much I can do about that. But let's replace this Silver Guard Knight. We do have six mana. And we had a Peacekeeper, so that's not good. I mean, it's good, but still, uh, let's just do a Silver Guard Knight here. 
We'll heal this Heartseeker. And we have four mana left, so we'll just do a Trinity Oath just to get more cards and heal up. So we're at 21, and we got a Healing Mystic, our Silver Guard Knight back, and another Trinity Elf, so it's all good. We got a Curve, next turn we can play a Peacekeeper, next turn we can play an Excelsius. So yeah, we'll just end our turn, hopefully we don't die, and we got a Windblade Adept, which we can replace. The Cobra Strike, so out of my face, I am back down to 18. Alright, let's replace the Windblade, because that's not going to help us one bit. The Crescent Spear, that's going to be painful. So let's replace this Windblade again. I got an Ironcliff Guardian, so we can either play that or the Peacekeeper. Now since we have 7 mana, I think I'm just going to go forward here, forward here, and we'll just play an Ironcliff Guardian here with a healing mystic to heal us back up to 20. Now we can't attack the general, but we'll end our turn. Then we got another Silver Guard Knight, so... Who likes giving us our Silver Guard Knight? The Heaven's Eclipse. So the opponent has three mana left to do things. Uh, three spells, though. That's kind of insane. That could be painful spells. It could be random bad spells, but we'll see what happens. Because I can get rid of all the artifacts next turn, it's just a matter of how I'm going to do it. Yeah, I'm going to replace Silverguard Knight and see what I can do first. Onyx Spear, oh, so rip, rip that thing. But I mean, if the opponent stays there, then I can still get rid of it because of my Blistering Scorn, but I don't know if he's going to remove it or not, but we'll see. He can't play spells, though, because uh, zero mana, unless it was like Juxtaposition, but Juxtaposition doesn't really get rid of the Blistering Scorn. We'll see what happens. I'm going to replace the Silver Guard Knight. No, he's just going to tank the Blistering Scorn, okay. Out of my face. We have 8 mana, let's replace this Silver Guard Knight. Now we got a Wind Blade, which is not what I wanted. Uh, this is can trade, this can go closer, this can go closer. And we can just do a Silver Guard Knight here and a Wind Blade here. So we have 3 mana left. I probably. Ah, I should have just done Trinity Oath. Why didn't I do that? I am an idiot. So let's just attack for two. Get rid of at least the celerity, and we'll just uh, heal the heal. Yeah, I, I misplayed that hard, so I apologize for that. We'll end our turn. We got another wind blade, and yeah, I misplayed that hard. But hopefully, it doesn't cost me the game. The opponent does have nine mana and four spells with the crescent spear, so I don't know if the opponent has lethal right now. Very well, might have, but we'll see. Heaven's Eclipse, so maybe that means no, but we'll see what he gets from the Heaven's Eclipse. Because if he doesn't have lethal with four mana, we have lethal on the board. So, yeah, we'll see what happens. Um, Bango of Blinding Strike, so, so another celerity. Into Mistwalking. Oh, that's gonna be annoying. But at least no ranged. So I don't have lethal right now, which sucks, but let's replace this wooden blade, like so. Then we get an Azure Herald, let's just move this forward. So we have 9 mana. Uh, let's just do... Let's just do a Peacekeeper, like right here. Then we'll just move uh, there, and we'll just move this there, move this there, and move this there, one. We can heal up with an Azure Herald, and we'll end our turn. And then we got an, a 12 12 Excelsius. So I don't know what spells the opponent has, but I don't know if he has lethal. Like, three Phoenix Fires would be. Uh, that would be. four times three, so that would be 12 damage. That would bring me down to seven. I don't know if the opponent has enough to do that, or has something more besides that. I don't know.
but we do have a provoker here so he does have to dispel this or get rid of it somehow otherwise he's in a world of hurt next turn <laughs> Is that a juxtaposition I smell? Oh, it's an Onyx Bear Seal. So that's Onyx Bear Seal number two. Uh, good thing, I mean, that's two. I don't know if he has another one. We do have Lethal on board though with our General Damage and the Silver Guard Knight. So that's that. Or unless he's gonna just Celerity move away, so I can't really do anything about that. So all the Onyx, or there's only two Onyx Bear Seals, there's one left. And a Cobra Strike, so how my face? I have to heal that back up with the Trinity O. So we can just box the opponent in with the, the pandas. So we'll just move this closer, move this closer, move this closer, move everything closer. We'll just heal up with the Trinity O. Uh, speaking of uh, things, I can do a Tempest if I wanted to, but that would just get rid of my pandas as well. But it will also lower the health of the general, so I'll heal up my Silver Guard Knight first, and then we can just do a Tempest. It's gonna kill my pandas, but it's also gonna kill the range as well as uh, get rid of the damaging artifact. He still has Celerity, but uh, I can deal with that later. Hopefully, I don't die. So we got a Holy Immolation, we, I mean we have Lethal, I'm pretty sure, it's just a matter of if he clears the board or not, with like Ghost Lightning. So the opponent has three cards and three mana, we have uh, five cards with it, a, we, and we can get more if we need to. It's just a matter of if the opponent's gonna do something or not. Yeah, I don't know what the opponent's gonna do. It's just, uh, three cards can kill me. It's just, does he have the right three cards? Eight gates, so maybe. The Cobra Strike out of my face. So I'm down. Oh, I'm down to six, so. Yeah, he had a Phoenix Fire, which uh, I predicted, but ouch, my face. I'm at six. I have to kill him this turn. Alright, I uh, can't really do Excelsius. Like, if he draws something painful, then I can't really do anything. Uh, well, let's replace Excelsius, sadly. We got an Azure Herald, I like that. So we can just do a Sunforge Lancer here, with an Azure Herald here. That will heal us up some health. We have four mana, so we can just play a Scintilla here. And then we can just heal up the Windblade. Because then the opponent has one... A card, and if it if it even is like a like the eight damage spell plus the bangle, I mean, the opponent is trapped, and it, even if it's like the spiral technique, then I still live. So that's why I did what I did. So we'll see what happens. Pretty sure I got this in the back, but you never know what the opponent can get out of the one card. Alright, so what will the opponent do? Top decking, is that the clutch replace or is that just the replace of death? Well, it is the replace of death, so yeah, let's just replace this. And then we get, uh, we can just do a holy immolation and then just swing. Now we'll just do that, and then we'll just attack for two. We'll end our turn. I mean, we, we win the game, but essentially we ended our turn. But yeah, that was a that was a long match, like longer than I expected, just because the 
like I said in like that at the very beginning, the opponent can just run away with teleportation tricks and shenanigans, so yeah, luckily we got through that, we healed up the damage that the opponent did to us, and we overcame that, we cornered him, and we killed him, so yeah, that was an interesting match against the uh, Artifact Spell Songhai.